Hey everyone, Mike Hidalgo here. Thank you for joining us on another FCPO DIY. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to replace the engine air filter in your 996. Now, the reason you may wanna do this is simply due to the fact that your vehicle is due for service, maybe she's feeling a little bit bogged down under acceleration. It's very important that you keep on top of this maintenance. You want to replace your engine air filter every 10,000 miles or so in your Carrera. It's very important as it protects not only the intake system on the vehicle, but the fuel system as well to a certain degree. This is a pretty straightforward job. All it's going to require is one tool. Today we're going to be using a flathead screwdriver. You could argue that you could use more than one. But why don't we get started? Join me at the car and we'll show you how to get it done. Thank you for joining us at the car. In order to get this air filter cover off, you're going to need to remove seven screws along the side of the housing. You have a hose clamp at the throttle body. You have your mass airflow sensor up top that needs to be disconnected. And this oil filler tube needs to be popped out and put to the side. So first, let's start with the seven screws. I'm gonna disconnect the mass airflow sensor just to get this plug out of the way so I can have easier access to the seventh bolt. You want to pinch the tabs on either side of this. It helps to push it in first and then you can pull it off. Set that over to the side. Then we can feel for our last bolt. Now that all seven bolts are done, all we have left to do is to remove the hose clamp that connects the intake boot to the throttle body. Make that nice and loose and simply pull off and lift. Sneaky sneak. One thing to note, as you're pulling this air lid off, you're gonna have a clip here that holds the mass airflow sensor wiring. Normally you have two of them, we're missing one. So we're just gonna pop that open, pull that off, Close it back up, and off she comes. Ew. Oh, God. That's nasty. Now that we have our airbox light off here on the bench, we can go ahead and remove this old nasty filter and put in our new one. Pretty simple. You just want to grab it from whichever end you like, pull it off, note the orientation. The sealed portion is going to be facing upwards towards the lid. Set that to the side. You want to inspect your box. Make sure there's no debris in here. Other than that little flake, this one is pretty clean. I'm gonna give it a little wipe, just cause it doesn't hurt. We already have it out here. It takes two seconds, peace of mind. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and grab our new filter. We'll be running the Mala OE filter for this. Set this into place. Now make sure that seal finds its way home on all the edges of the lid. And that's that. Now we can go ahead and put this back in the vehicle. Before we reinstall our air box, lid, and filter, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this area is nice and clean. Now, as you can see, there's some leaf debris in here and a little bit of dust and dirt. Just stuff that gets sucked in from the intake over here. Let's clean that out, and then we'll go ahead and install our lid and new filter. Another thing you can do is check your throttle body housing, make sure that's nice and clean before you reinstall everything. This one's fairly clean. We're just gonna go ahead and give it a quick wipe. Now that we got this ready to install, I'm just gonna run this MAF MAF sensor wire through here so I don't forget about it. It's got plenty of room to slide up and down. Fit this back over. You wanna make sure your oil filler tube is out of the way. The lid itself channels itself back onto the air box, so it's really kind of hard to misalign it, although it never hurts to double check and feel all the way around before you wrap up this job. We're gonna put our boot in next, back onto the throttle body. There we go. You wanna make sure the boot is butted up to 
these ears on either side of the throttle body, once for the TPS sensor and once for the throttle linkage. Just a good reference to make sure that she's all the way on, feel all the way around. Now we have our boot butted up to the throttle body. We can go ahead and put our hose clamp back in place and tighten it up. And then we'll put the seven screws back in. We're just using a flathead to tighten this down. Now you want to go ahead and tighten all seven screws that hold the lid onto the box. They don't have to be very tight. It is just a plastic lid after all. You just want to make sure that it's sealed properly and you should have no problems. All right, I like to do the other side as well, just to kind of keep an even load on the plastic as it seals around the box. Similar to when you're doing like an oil pan gasket or a head gasket. oil filler tube back in place. This just snaps in and we can put in our last bolt. Now that our lid secured and our intake boot is back on, all we have left to do is plug in our mass airflow sensor. Simply line it up with the grooves until it clicks and that's that. Well there you have it everyone. Air filter replacement done on this 996. Pretty straightforward. Just to recap, you want to do it about every 10,000 miles for the Carreras, all that you have in your way is seven screws that hold down the lid, your mass airflow sensor, which you need to unplug, an intake boot, which is just held on by a hose clamp, and your oil filler tube. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward job, easy maintenance, just to ensure the health of your engine. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one today, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're doing DIYs all the time. And if you have any questions or comments about this job, please be sure to leave a comment in the box below. Again, thank you for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.